Well, when it comes to dieting, more and more people are eating nothing. That's right. But more specifically, we're talking about not eating for a period of time. An awful lot of people swear by this technique to lose weight. But does it work? Our Verify team has been checking it out. Here's two on your sides, Michael Wooten. Fasting has been around for centuries. We even have a word for breaking the fast after we sleep. But the latest trend is intermittent fasting, an umbrella term for a variety of diets. Alternate day fasting, where you eat a normal amount of calories one day, then don't eat or sharply limit your calories the next. The 5-2 version, eating normally five days out of the week and then limiting calories the other two. And then there's the warrior diet, eating in a limited scheduled window every day, like eight hours hours in the afternoon and evening, followed by 16 hours of fasting. But is any of it safe? Our body is always either in a fasted state or in a fed state. Our sources are two dietitians, Paul Kriegler and Dr. Renee Korzak. But I do think there's a strong belief that if I fast, I'll lose weight. Um, and it may work in the short term, but trying to really teach people what are the long-term health consequences of this is very important. People get attracted to the kind of the trendiness of fasting, but they don't realize that if you're living a healthy lifestyle, you're probably spending 12 to 16 hours a, every day in a fasted state. But Dr. Korzak has concerns. From a nutritional standpoint, when you're cutting calories, you can become deficient in certain nutrients. Definitely not something I would send a beginner off to, to go try and experiment with. Our sources disagree on whether fasting can work. Yeah, there are ways to, to practice fasting safely. I'm just not there yet to say that it's, it's beneficial. Dr. Korzak worries about long-term consequences and notes fasting can cause changes with your metabolism. When you're fasting, you, you know, especially for long periods of time, you lower your uh, resting metabolic rate, meaning that your baseline calories is now much lower, so you're already putting yourself in deficit. But Kriegler believes fasting can be safe if you include healthy choices. So if you have a healthy metabolism and an overall healthy diet, then introducing periods of time where you skip a meal here and there um, doesn't send your metabolism, you know, wildly off course. The differing opinions of our dietitians mirror the different conclusions you'll find online, even in medical journals. A 2017 study in the Journal of the American Medical Association found alternate day fasting was no more effective than calorie counting, and people gave up on fasting more often. But a study published by the National Institutes of Health a year earlier found the exact opposite. Bottom line, our sources agree on this. Fasting or any diet plan should start with a visit to your doctor. You know, I would say consult your physician. Get your health evaluated. Just understand your baseline level of metabolic health. So normally with these Verify stories, we try to give you a cut and dry yes or no answer, but you really cannot get that with intermittent fasting. The studies are going to show that it works for some people. It appears not to work for others, and that is why it's important to always talk with your doctor about something like this. And Scott, uh, you and I have both done this. We've talked about it at our yes. desks before. Um, I actually talked to my doctor before I did it. Yeah. I was going on vacation, and I was like, I want to check this out. Right. So, And I pretty much kept it up. I eat every day from 1 in the afternoon until 9 at night. And I don't really eat again until the next afternoon. But let's be honest, though, you don't have a weight problem. You never. Really no, I'm not have. doing it for a weight right. thing. It's just, I don't know if it's a lifestyle thing right. or staying fit thing. Right. I just like it. I fell for Marie Osmond in Nutrisystem, and I have 14 pounds in two and a half weeks. Only 27 wow. more to go. Getting some okay. I'll get there. Well, it works for some. <laughs>